Hey, thanks for coming out. Awesome. Um, <laughs> fun. This room is way too big for me. Um, okay, so let's get started. Hi, my name is Brad Swale. I am a voice actor from Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> That's currently where I live. That's where I was born and raised. And now I'm back in Boston and love it! Thanks for having me back. Yeah. Some of you might know uh, the inaugural season of this convention. Um, me and some of the other Gundam Wing voice actors were down here. I didn't realize at the time that it was the, the first crack at it because it was just so well attended. And uh, finally I got invited back. I must have done something right. So, yeah, I'm psyched to be back here. I'm gonna sit on this table and hope I don't break it. <laughs> I get that for sitting on a table. Oh, I love this town! Okay, so I guess I should probably start by maybe listing some of the shows that I've worked on just to see if you guys have actually seen any of these shows. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll start at the start. Um, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll story my way into this. So, um, when I first got into acting, I was starting off doing theater type things in, you know, elementary school, and then I started to get back into it in high school. And eventually, um, I saw that my sister, who's a year older than me, um, was getting involved with a place called the Vancouver Youth Theater, and she was doing, like, touring theater productions that would, uh, play at certain events, and they'd, they'd tour around elementary schools and high schools, and putting on shows and whatnot, and I was jealous. And wanted to do that too, so I auditioned with the same uh, theater company and got on a different show, so I started doing that. And then um, at the time there was an agency that was right across the street from them that uh, set people up with um, on-camera work, like you know, commercials, TV shows, movies, whatever. And they approached me and my sister at one point and asked if we wanted to join the agency, and they'd send us out in auditions. And of course we said, yeah, please, okay, that'll be fine, that'll be okay, yes, um, okay. And so we did that, and so I started off doing some on-camera work and all, kind of, all that jazz, and then I had my first audition for a cartoon. And that cartoon was My Little Ponytails. That's crazy. Have you guys, has anybody seen My Little Ponytails? Yeah? Wow. Awesome. Yeah, okay, so I was ace on My Little Ponytails. And he was a badass pony. I mean, now that's in the pony world, right? Like, how badass are ponies? Well, he was, he was the meanest one, I think. So, yeah, that was it. So that was my first taste of, of doing any kind of voice acting, and I loved it. And uh, so from then, I just kept going out on auditions, and these days I don't do any on-camera work anymore, um, but I could never give up the voice acting, I just love it too much. And so a few years after that, I had my first audition for an anime show, and that was a series called Ranma One Half. And, see, that's awesome. I love hearing like cheers for Ranma. You know, like that's it's just a staple in the anime world, in my, in my opinion, anyway. So yeah, I played Moose on, on Ranma. What? Okay, so. Same old story that I've told a million times, but I can tell you again because we have an hour to film, so whatever. Um, yeah, so I didn't actually audition for Moose. I went in there auditioning just kind of in general because I think that was one of the first titles that uh, Ocean Studios had actually done in the anime world. One of the first, anyway. And so um, when I was auditioning, I think I, I was uh, reading scripts for like Ranma and uh, a couple other guys just to, to see if I could do it and whatever. So then I got cast as Moose, so I didn't know too much about the character. Um, I went in there and kind of learned a bit more. Um, my only real taste of anime before that was Akira. Yeah, let's chill out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's all say it again. Was Akira. <laughs> Which, of course, I wasn't in, but it's a great show. Um, so yeah, I went in there and I got through, you know, most of the first script that I was reading. And uh, then they said, okay, so we'll queue you up to line 123 or whatever. And I got my headset on here. Oh, that's not me. Uh, it says Moon Chan. I don't know what that is. Oh, let me tell you about your character. Yeah, he just got splashed with water and he turns into a duck. So you're, so you're going to be quacking for the next six pages. Um, 
what is this show about again? <laughs> yeah, so it's a quack the next, um, so yeah, can you do a uh, duck quack? And here, so here's me and this dude just like scratching my head. Um, all right, okay, so we got six pages of that. And then it turned out to be one of my favorite things because it's, it's fun trying to find the motivation of a duck, you know? But there were varying degrees of emotion that came out of that duck. Mm, there's hungry duck. Um, very sad, upset duck. And, I mean, there's a whole gamut. So yeah, that was, that was kind of fun. I think I, I spent more time doing the, the quacking lines than I did on the other ones just because I really wanted to invest in the character. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. So some of the other shows I worked on, um, Inuyasha, anybody seen Inuyasha? Anybody heard of a show called Inuyasha? I had a huge role in that, uh, in that uh, show. I was uh, Nobunaga, uh, episode eight. <laughs> How many episodes are there in that series? Yeah, a lot, right? Um, I was in episode eight. I, I, of course, I auditioned for, for the lead role in that, didn't get it, went to Richard Cox. <sighs> it's a good thing he's awesome, otherwise I'd be really upset. Um, but then, yeah, so it, it, in the first or second batch, you know, I get the call, okay, yeah, he booked a role on Inuyasha. Awesome, okay, well, at least, you know, I can have And then that was it, man, never came back. <laughs> And so I'd be, I'd be in the studio working on something else, like, what are you guys working on today? Oh, you know, any option? You're still working on that show? Oh, yeah, there's like a million episodes. Is, is no knock ever gonna come back? Um, no. Hmm. Um, how about in the movies? Are we gonna see him? Yeah. Don't hold your breath. Okay. All right, so let's go down the line here. Has anybody ever seen or heard of a series called Boys Over Flowers? Yeah. Okay, there's a couple, yeah. So I was Kazia in that. Um, we were talking about Ranma. Hamtaro. Anyone watch Hamtaro? I'm so impressed that you admit to watching Hamtaro. Hamha. Okay, well, I was, I was Maxwell in Hamtaro. Now, for, for those of you that aren't familiar with the show, I'm sure you probably know that it's about, it's about little hamsters. And if you ever need to pick out my hamster amongst the whole squadron of hamsters, um, look for the one with the gigantic head and the really misshapen ears. That's Max one. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, Zoids. Anybody ever see Zoids? Yeah. Really? Sweet. Okay. So, in Zoids, I was Harry Champ. A man destined to be king. Um, did, okay, here's a, this is almost a trick question. Did anybody ever see or hear of a show called Zoids? Users. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so, see? Different re reaction, right? So it's, ah! So it's users. Yeah. I remember that? Well, yeah, I, I was kind of the lead on that show, which I don't think anybody saw. So I'm, I was RD in that show, yeah. So that was, uh, that was good for me and unfortunate for everybody else because nobody saw it. <laughs> um, oh, I have it down here too. Yeah, okay, we'll skip right over that. Uh, Saber Marionette J. Anybody? Yeah? Okay, all right. A couple, a couple others, okay, so I was so tired of that. Um, video Girl, I. Okay. Uh, Yota, um, Earth Maiden Arjuna. Yeah, okay. Is there anything you haven't seen? <laughs> I'll get you to look at this later. Check, 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 nice. Um, so I was Chris and that, um, skipping, skipping. Maison Ikoku. Yes, okay. All right, see, that's another kind of classic series, right? That was one, I think that was probably don't quote me on this, but that was probably the first anime title that uh, was done in Vancouver at Ocean Studios. Um, and, and that happened ages ago, like maybe late 80s, possibly very early 90s, I'm guessing. And then they did a very short run of it, then it kind of vanished. And eventually it came, came back that they were going to complete the series. And the, uh, the actor that was playing Godai um, had since had Jason Gray Stanford, I think, is, uh, is who was playing Godai, and he had uh, moved down to LA because he was uh, becoming a big on camera actor. So they needed to recast, and I was really lucky to, to land the role of Godai in that. So there we go. Soul Taker. What have you seen, Soul Taker? Okay. One of the best opening theme songs in the history of time. Soul Taker! Chunk, 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 chunk. Yeah, so I was Kyosuke in that. Um, Project Arms. Anyone ever seen Project Arms? Yeah? You just... Okay, cool. 
you get to see uh, me playing uh, Takashi with bionic legs, kind of cool. Okay, this is going to be the quietest response ever. Dakota? Oh no! Okay, nice! Yes, 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 I was Suzu, also known as Dakota! He turns into a big blue diaper wearing superhero. <laughs> awesome. Um, has anybody ever seen a show called Tokyo Underground? <laughs> 